Wagwan people, J. the Jamo. Um, just a little how-to video. Um, basically showing you how to get Batman Arkham Knight, the new Batman game, um, running a little bit more efficiently on your NVIDIA graphics cards. I'm not sure if this will work for AMD graphics cards as well. But um, well, anyway, let's get into it. <laughs> so um, first, what you gotta do? It's only two things basically. They're really quick to do. Um, first of all, you're going to find where you've installed Batman, so in mine, I've got mine from Steam, so, um, went to Steam, went to Steam Apps, Common, Batman, BM Game, once you're in the Batman folder, you go into BM Game, and then you go to Config, and then you'll find one of these Config files that says BM System Settings, and then you're going to go into that, and, um, you're going to look for where it says Max FPS, Max Frames Per Second, obviously, um, ah, oh, here we go. Right there, and you're just going to change that from, your one should probably be, probably say 30 on it, that's what mine said at first. So I'll just change it to 120. Um, you know, then obviously control save that as well, so that the file applies itself. And that's the first part done, so you've got rid of the stupid frames cap that they um, put on the game when they launched it. Second of all, you're going to go to NVIDIA control panel, I got to that by, um, oh, let me get back to my desktop. By right clicking on my desktop and going to NVIDIA control panel. And then for and then you're gonna go into sorry, manage 3D settings. There you go, manage 3D settings there in the left. And you're gonna if your Batman game is not already there, just add the executable to this list. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll all the way down and you're gonna turn the VSync to on. So what this will do is it will use the NVIDIA built-in VSync to um what's it called, have vertical sync on the game instead of using the game's inbuilt V-Sync to run the game because I think the game's inbuilt V-Sync is just, it's just crap. It's obviously doing something wrong because you can't run it with that. But um, yeah, once those things are done, um, I'm not sure if this is for everybody's graphics card, but my Batman game has a problem launching in full screen mode. I don't know why, it just does. So what I do is I go to NVIDIA Experience or GeForce Experience, and I just set it to, um, well, whatever resolution you want. I set mine to 1080p. But main thing is, set the display mode to borderless. Once it's launching in borderless, it just launches in full screen anyway, and it seems fine. But when you select full screen, it keeps flashing on and off, on and off, on and off kind of thing, and you never get into the game, and sometimes it just freezes your whole laptop. So, um, yeah, borderless... Turn VSync on in the NVIDIA control panel. Frames cap from 30 to 120 or whatever you want to put it. And um, you should be good to go. Now let's see what frames I get now. Usually I used to get 30, 30 from dips to 18 as well with um, my previous settings. But um, now it's not that bad. On top of the buildings, obviously, I'm getting like 56, 51 because there's not much going on. But my main problem was when I got into the Batmobile. So... If I just get into that, okay, I'm getting 23 frames per second there as well. Um, oh, I didn't even show you the what you gonna call it. I didn't even show you the graphical settings. Let me just make sure that's still focused. There we go. So yeah, that's all high. Um. I can run it, I mean, I can run it on max, but um, sometimes, as you just saw a second ago, you get little dips to like 30 or like 31, which isn't really bad, but when it's coming down from like 54, it looks really bad. So um, what I do is I take off the interactive smoke and fog and the interactive paper debris because I don't actually see, in fact, let me take off Enchanced Rain because... I don't see the point of having these options. They take a lot of performance, but they don't make the game look any better. So um, I was going to take them on. I'm going to leave light shafts on because that doesn't really impact performance that much anyway. But um, and I think I'm going to have to restart the game, to be honest, to see the benefits of that. But already you can see it's a little bit better. And I'm not really getting those ridiculous frame dips to 30. Um, let me see if I can get into a fight or something. I mean, I'm getting dips to 36, 33, as you can see. But um, it's still playable. There we go, I've got a little dip to 31 there again. 
but it's much better if I just restarted the game. Um, and yeah, that's that's basically how you do it, guys. I mean, okay, let me restart the game quickly. I'll just pause the video. One second.